saying Danny has a crush on Gabe. Got any evidence? Um, the way that she plays with her hair every time someone talks about him. Oh, come on. I do not do that. <laughs> it couldn't be more obvious if you were walking around carrying Santa and said, I think Gabe's cute. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny, but... Say by the bell. Miss Cole? Why is there never any signal around here? Why does no one ever leave a voicemail? Maybe it was Gabe, my lady. Gabe doesn't know how to use a phone. <laughs> we can debate my love life another time. Right now, we need to... Hey, we still need to clean up? <laughs> Friend up, ladies and gentlemen. This is a job for Leo the Magnificent. Oh, Leo the Annoying, as he's more commonly known. Just say the magic words. <laughs> Don't you do me! <laughs> Dare. That works so much better in my head. Danny. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. I know exactly what it's like to have an annoying little brother. Say hello to Maximum Destruction. <laughs> I need you to ruin one of my schemes. What? <laughs> I don't even know what we're laughing. Wow. Well, at least they cleared the table. You know Dad's banned you from doing the tablecloth trick. Think of how many family dinners you've ruined by doing that. <laughs> and for my next trick, I shall vanish into thin air and reappear over there. <laughs> I'll tidy up then. Maybe you could ask Gabe to help with the mess. <sighs> OK, fine. Maybe I do like him a bit. I can't deny it, but do you know what? I think he likes me too, so I'm just going to ask him out. Ha. One bag of pick and mix, please. Why does Kate owe you sweets? Oh, we had a bet that you like Gabe. She lost. <laughs> Could have never imagined that you'd like a ghost. I mean, the writer that's off my unsuitable boyfriend's list. Along with werewolves and zombies and then smart mouth big city boys. <laughs> <laughs> Meant to do that. <laughs> Greetings, Danny. Salutations. How are you? You're looking lovely once again. <sighs> Come along, Gabriel. <laughs> Greetings, Danny. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. <sighs> Come on, Gabriel. Deep breath. She's just a girl. Greetings, Danny. What are you doing? Nothing. What? <laughs> More inspection. <laughs> yep. I swear, since those new humans arrived, you've barely stopped looking at yourself in the mirror. There's no shame in looking good for general Danny daily reasons. I'm not vain, if that's what you mean. Is that hair out of place? Where? Where? I mean, I know Gabe died 250 years ago, but no one's perfect. You really do like him, don't you? He's like no one I've ever met before. I mean, yeah, he's a bit old school, but he's so kind and so unique and he makes me see the world differently. Listen to that. I think I'm starting to get a crush on him. Is he actually going to ask him out? What's the worst that could happen? Gabe says no and things get really awkward around here. Greetings, everyone. How was your lunchtime feast? Epic. Well, I'm one mouthful away from exploding. <clears throat> Gabe, uh, there's something I wanted to ask you. Oh, first, my lady, there is something I must ask you. Oh. Danny, since you came to the castle, I've been... Well, what I'm trying to say is that I suppose you and me... Well, th the thing is... Gabe, will you go out with me? <laughs> right? But you know I cannot go beyond the castle walls. I mean, on a date? A specific date will make no difference. I still cannot leave. <laughs> what I'm asking is if you would want to join me on a one-to-one -one basis for a, a thing. You know, a boy-girl thing. Together. Us. You. Me. Got me? Got you. Well, this is painful. She's asking if you'll consider being a boyfriend, you Regency Claude. <laughs> You're asking me to... Really? You? Me? Seriously? <laughs> you jester. <laughs> I just don't understand. The tablecloth trick's one of the most basic illusions there is. Sam Feeney! <laughs> Have you ever done it before? Totally. Loads of times. Sam Feeney! I mean, not in your head. Not exactly. But a magician with my skills should be able to do a trick like that in his sleep. Sam Feeney! <laughs> prove it. Show me how good you are. I don't have to prove anything to you. I know I'm good. Chicken. Chicken? <laughs> Nobody. 
looks at me. <laughs> then do the tablecloth trick. Earn the magnificent part of your name. Or what? Or I'll tell every ghost I know that you're full of hot air. So when you pass over, they'll follow you around and saying, Oh, there's a magician that can't even do the tablecloth trick. Okay, that's how you want to play it. It's on. I look forward to seeing it. I look forward to doing it. Sure you do. <laughs> I have never heard anything so amusing. A girl asking a boy to court her. Danny, you are quite the joker. For a minute there, I actually believed you were being serious. <laughs> <laughs> and you were being serious. Glad I made you laugh, though. I, I wasn't. I didn't. It's just you asking me breaks the rules of courtship. If you don't want to go out with me, you only have to say. Danny, wait. Smooth moves, ghost breath. <laughs> you know, mate, that could have gone slightly better. Curses! Now she will never let me court her. She still likes you, we just need to bring you up to date. Bring me up to date? Yeah, you're just a bit... <laughs> retro. And you think you can help me? Trust me, cos I'm every inch a 21st century boy. <laughs> <laughs> meant to do that. Um, that was all a bit awkward with Gabe then. Sorry, Danny. You're gonna have to do the legwork here. Horses I can do. Tree climbing's a piece of cake. But when it comes to girly chats, I'm lost. I really thought you'd say yes. Well, technically, he didn't say no. He laughed at me, Kate. Yeah, but things were different back in his day. Well, when Gabe was born, electric currents were raisins that had been struck by lightning. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> Boys are confusing enough as it is. That alone one's born in 1700 and something. Well, maybe you could overlook his painfully old-fashioned ways. Maybe. Maybe I just need to get into a more 18th century mindset. I might help you understand him. He baffles the heck out of me. To the library. Yes. Oh, no. I need to go and warn Prince William. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> but, how did I do? What did you do with what? The girly chat. Oh, well, apart from the bit about worming. Ten out of ten. Yes. Get it. <laughs> At least a couple of points for that, though. Get all of that? I think so. The Prime Minister of Britain is Justin Bieber, and the President of America is Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man's a superhero, and Justin Bieber's a pop muppet. So which one of them is married to the Lady Gaga? Neither. This is Lady Gaga, remember? Egad! A witch. I'm so confused. I'm never going to be modern enough for Danny. Failure is not an option. We just need to make a look past the lacy cuffs and the dodgy boots. What is wrong with my attire? What's right with it? You need a 21st century makeover, my friend. <coughs> First, gotta learn how to wear baseball cap. A, ba a base what? Baseball cap. How exciting. Next, a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> It's a mobile phone. That's what we used to communicate. Hello? <laughs> this is an MP3 player, and this is where you get your tunes. An empty what player? MP3. It's for music. Now to press play. Oh, sorcery! Witchcraft! <laughs> and that is how you tie your shoelaces. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 like that. You okay? These are some bad people. Swag. See, see that? See that? And finally, if you get lost and you just don't know how to respond, what do you say? Yeah? Whatevs. By Jove, I think he's got it. <laughs> My work here is done. I'm out. lady may offer a gentleman her hand, but a young lady may not. Oh, hey, Leo. Hey. Gabe's lot was so uptight. No wonder he lost it when I asked him out. This craziness is what he's used to. What are you doing? Learning about inertia. Oh, where's that? Inertia. The law of physics. It says when something's heavy, it's hard to stop it moving. It allows me to do things like this. Sam. Beanie! <laughs> Whoa, that actually worked! Ugh, still freaks me out when you do that. So, when are you going to do the tablecloth trick? 
Leo thought Kate said no more tablecloth trick. She did, but I can do it this time. And I won't break a single thing. Probably. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! What's up, people? This is Guillaume in the house. That's my boy. Gabe, but why, why, why are you... What? What? Uh, what? What she said. <laughs> yeah? Soak it up, peeps. Check off your block. <laughs> Yo, Leo, would you get the door, mate? No, I don't want to watch this. Get the door. Chicka, 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 chicka. Yeah. Chicka. I know. It's whatever. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Ben. Cool. Is that a robot? <laughs> Gabe, seriously, what are you doing? I'm a rapper now. Yo. Swagalicious. His choice. I suggested Ema. Is he only doing this just to impress you? I don't know. Jimmy, did you put him up to this? I didn't force him to do anything. It's a change of image. We've all done it. Well, it's kind of a country goth fusion. I'll call it cowboy. Howdy. Everyone pipe down, yeah? I'm trying to text my mates. What mates? Everyone you know is standing right in front of you. My online mates? I'm twattering. Twittering. Yeah. What else? Jokes. Last week you didn't even know what a phone was. I showed you mine and you thought it was a bar of chocolate. Gabriel, explain yourself. Sure thing. Yo. <laughs> I was born in the past, died too fast. Now I'm a spirit, in it to win it. My name is Gabriel, master of the turn table. I will never lose. Oh, watch me move. What was that exactly? It was called rap. It's called embarrassing yourself. <laughs> As I said, I suggested emo. <laughs> so yeah, now I know your totes emotion about me. You're gonna ask me or, or what? Bring it on. Excuse me? You, me, Gabe, babe. I'm the only man for you. I'm grade A hot sauce. <laughs> and you ain't gonna get better. You're grade A hot sauce and you know I ain't gonna do any better. You know, I used to think your problem was that you were born centuries ago. Turns out I was wrong. Your problem, Gabe, is that you're arrogant. Yeah? Whatevs. That's not gonna help. Yeah? Whatevs. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Ben! What are you doing here? Your friend Leo showed me in. He's gone off to practice something. Hey, I really like your castle. Especially this bit here. No, I meant what you're doing in Ireland. Remember you texted Jack saying we're lonely? Well, he sent me over to help cheer you up. Well, that was weeks ago. I'm fine now. <sighs> but it's so good to see a familiar face. Uh, Danny, who's this? I'm Ben. It's short for Bench. Or so I assume. <laughs> Ben's a friend from back home. A really good friend, actually. And unlike you, he gets me. Come on, Ben. I'll show you around. Well, maybe you're not the only guy for a Danny after all. I cannot win. So, if you're going to be staying here, there's something you need to know about this place. It's, uh, well, it's... Haunted. Yeah, how did you know? Spooky old castle, people in lacy outfits. Doesn't take a genius to work it out. Plus, sent Jack a text that said, Ah! Ghosts! Ah! <laughs> and you're not freaked out by it? Between you and me, there are far weirder things in my head than ghosts. Far weirder. <laughs> So tell me about these robots. Are they like android butlers? Do they do chores for you? I've missed you. I've missed you too. <laughs> What's that? I think you just burst a bag of crisps I had in my pocket. At least I hope that's what just burst. Fiddlesticks. Being 21st century didn't work any better than being 18th century. How about we try a new era altogether? One that neither of you know anything about? <laughs> Galactic greetings from the space year 3413 AD. Would you care to bid your digital avatar to my personal share net, Hello Fumatron? No. <laughs> Actually, dating 35th century style, terrible idea. No more pretending. I'll stick with what I know and deal with the situation the way I know how. The old-fashioned way. Or maybe, maybe. <laughs> 
You could just sort of give up. Never! I now know that the only obstacle between me and Danny is that Ben Chancer. No, maybe they're just friends. Oh, no. It's all clear to me now, Jimmy. I'm going to need this. Okay. If he wants to engage in courtship ritual, he will have to fight me for the right. <laughs> oh, for a second there, mate. I thought he was going to challenge Ben to a scrap. Precisely! Although, we call them jewels. You can't... Ghosts! They'll be the death of me. <laughs> wow! This place is huge. There are so many corridors and rooms. Yeah, I still get lost sometimes. I know that feeling. I get lost going to the sweet shop. Ben, the sweet shop's like 30 seconds from your house. And I've learnt my lesson. Now I'll leave a trail of breadcrumbs so I can find my way back home. I don't know how to stop them being eaten by Mr Feathers, though. Who's Mr Feathers? He's the crow that lives in the bush outside my... And somebody's lost again. Ben! Ben! Breadcrumbs! There we go. Your room's this way, I think. That's it. Follow my finger. There we go. Keep following it. There's your good boy. <laughs> so, are you going to be okay sleeping in a haunted castle? I've stayed in worse places. Once I got trapped overnight in a missing factory. Only you, Ben. Only you. Everyone misses you back home. I miss them too. When are you coming back? Once we get this place up and running, which at the rate I'm going at could be never. But we'll see. Night, Ben Ben. Night, Danny. Sleep with your eyes open. Who does that? Wake up! That is just weird. <gasps> What's that? Mum? Dad? Max? Superman? Oh, it's just you, Gabe. You were sleeping with your eyes open. I do that. It stops people sneaking up on me in my sleep. But I did sneak up on. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry, my good sir, but I have to do this. What was that for? It indicates that I'm challenging you to a duel. A what? A gentleman's battle. It is how we settled things in my day. But what do we have to settle? I intend to fight you for stealing the woman I think I probably love. Who? Danny, of course. If you accept my challenge, you must pick up the glove. But I didn't steal Danny, and I don't want to fight you. Here, you have this back. Aha! <laughs> you picked it up? The duel is on. Wait, but I didn't mean to. As the challenged, you have the right to choose the weapon we shall duel with. I shall see you at dawn, my enemy. I do my dueling before breakfast. I do mine after breakfast, and I like a lion. I'll see you around tennis. Tennis it is. Sorry again for waking you up. <sighs> oh dear, Danny's not going to be happy, and now I'm far too awake to ever go back to sleep. <sighs> doing? We're preparing the weapons for his duel. His duel? Gabe, your duel with who? Who do you think? Ben. You're gonna fight Ben? A fight makes it sound so uncivil, my lady. This is simply a traditional way of settling a dispute. Back in our time, we had to make our own entertainment. <laughs> and the dispute being what exactly? I would never have made romantic designs on you if I knew he already had your hand. Romantic designs? <laughs> I knew you liked me. I mean, <clears throat> Ben doesn't have my hand. I mean, he's just a mate from back home. You're just saying that to try and save him. No, I'm not. But I'm not letting you fight Ben. I mean, you're already dead. Don't you think you have a slight advantage over him? Ben should have thought of that before he agreed to fight Gabe in a duel. Did you know about this duel? I had nothing to do with it. Look, you've got to stop this. This is no way to impress me. OK, it is kind of flattering, but I still strongly disapprove. You are not to stab, squash or bash Ben, otherwise I'll be really upset. Poor guy must be terrified. Morning, everyone. Do you like my leotard? It's yellow. <laughs> you came to a duel dressed like a canary. What protection will that afford you from an arrow or axe? None. You told me to choose my weapon, so I chose dancing. Oh. <laughs> My mum says I dance like my legs are made from electric rainbows. My mother says that Gabe dances like a spider in a hot frying pan. 
can't dance in your modern way. I mean... Isn't it ungentlemanly to back out of a duo, brother? Yes, but... Yes. Fine. The duel is on. Hello? Oh, stupid signal. Hello? <laughs> Kate, you have to get down here and bring Leo. Oh, and some popcorn. <laughs> Are you ready? Bring it on. Yes, what he said. Bring this on. For you, my lady. <sighs> on the count of three, Ben, you will go first. One, two, three. So you don't have to do the tablecloth trick. I declare Ben the winner. <sighs> but I still have more to give. Yeah, and if we carry on, Ben's going to pass out. This is my castle, and from now on, my rules state that all humans will win every duel by default. Then I shall take my leave and not come between you and your beloved. It would have been a hollow victory anyway. Dancing like a fool is no way to behave. Well, hang on a minute. Well, this is how everyone dances these days. And if this is dancing like a fool, then... Dancing like a fool is one of my favourite things to do in the world. Is it? Yeah. And I'd really like it if you and I could dance like fools together sometime. Really? Well, you're like no one I've ever met before. But what about Ben? Oh, well, he's like no one I've ever met before either, but we're not together. <laughs> he really is just my friend, OK? I accept your invitation to dance with you. I'll be get twinkle toes. <laughs> Somebody ask me something to mop my brow with. <laughs> No way! I did it! I actually did it! I mean, Carl said that Anley is magnificent. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Danny. It's been just like old times, but with ghosts and a castle and a completely different set of people. <laughs> it's been brilliant having you here, Ben. Come back soon, yeah? If you promise to come back and visit soon, too. I'll try, but I think I'm going to have my hands pretty full here for a while. On the plus side, I'm starting to feel like home here. Bye, Danny. Bye, Ben. <laughs> Have a safe journey. Thank you. My lady. Hey, Gabe. I got you these in advance of our date. They're beautiful. As are you. You know, coming from anyone else's mouth, that would have been really cheesy, but coming from you. Sound beating. Leo! <laughs> 